Hey everybody, it's Strict9 with Strict9GP, and welcome back to another episode of my Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020 playthrough. Uh, still with the Austin Peay Governors in the Ohio Valley Conference, uh, we're moving through the schedule. I feel like this probably going to have a couple episodes left until we're through the regular season. Uh, record is still doing well, 17-5, and five, so I think we got a good shot at, at winning 20 games this year. Uh, we had a couple of hiccups, though. Uh, one in that last episode when we lost easily to, to Belmont Bruins, 82-93. to 93. Uh, On the road, Belmont, still the class of this conference. They're undefeated still, the last I checked. And then right after that, on the road against Tennessee Tech, a little bit of a shocker. Uh, they won 80-64. to 64. So it, really a, an even bigger lost than the Belmont game. Big letdown. We didn't play well at all in that one. If I'm looking at the stats, I think we had a really poor shooting performance. Um, just 23 for 64 from the field. Not good in three-pointers, even though I was trying to catch up there at the end. We kept missing. Um, they they easily won. Uh, they had a great game. But Today I'm going to play a game against a team that's kind of been surprising, making a good run. They're probably going to be in competition with us uh, with maybe another team or two for that second spot in the conference, the Southeast Missouri State Red Hawks. Uh, we are going to be playing them on the road. The scouting report has us favored to win, not by a whole lot, but I've seen I've seen some tighter matchups where we've come out and won or played better anyway. So uh, we'll show that later, but a few things I wanted to do before we get to that. Uh, just looking at the team statistics, Martin is still playing really well. I mean, he's by far the leading scorer. Going to really miss this guy when he leaves next year. Uh, he's up to 14.7 points a game now. Uh, doing really good all the way around. Four rebounds a game, three assists a game. Easily my best player. And I think the run that he's been on, uh, here lately has been really, really good. Even though we lost in that Tennessee Tech game, he scored 23, then 17, 16, 22 in, in the game we just played against Murray State that we won. Uh, great performance overall from this guy for the season. I didn't recap the rest of the games, but um, we have won. After that bad loss against Tennessee Tech, we came back. One at home against Tennessee Martin. Pretty close, though, 72-67. Easily beat 20, Tennessee State. Eastern Kentucky on the road. Uh, SIU, no, I'm looking, I'm sorry. I, I didn't scroll down far enough. So after that loss at Tennessee Tech, we beat Tennessee Martin by 20 at home. Big game there. Jacksonville State by 19. Big win there. And then on the road, uh, a pretty convincing win against Murray State, 78-62. to So that's... Uh, that's how we stand, and looking at the uh, standings themselves, this is what I'm talking about. S Southeast Missouri State, they are at 7-4, and four, uh, just a couple games behind us. 10-12 and 12 on the season. Um, outside of them, you got a few, few teams here at 6-5. and five. So this is going to be the competition. So with 11 games down, 7 to go, if we win this one, it'll be huge. Uh, that would give us a three-game advantage over the Red Hawks and probably whoever wins among these three, uh, if, if any of these three win this week. I don't think we're going to catch Belmont. It would be nice if Belmont had a surprise here and there and we go into that last game of the season, which is against Belmont at home. It would be nice if we go either into that game either tied or a game, uh, a game back from them, but I, I don't really see it happening. One of the things I wanted to do different, though, this episode, I realized um, we're into February in the season right now, and I haven't really looked at how the whole NCAA as a whole is doing. So let's let's take a look at that. Um, this is the media poll, coaches poll, and RPI rankings that are generated in game. They've got Louisville, who has been on the top of these polls for a while now. Uh, they're 21-3, and three, doing really well. Florida's having a good season. Kansas, I don't know if I'm seeing too many big surprises here. I mean, Gonzaga's on the list. Uh, San Diego State uh, even making it here. Uh, Tennessee Volunteers, 20-4. and four. They've been ranked most of the season, but 
uh, in real life, they've had some injuries and didn't really have that great of a season. Arkansas having a good year. Uh, so the SEC has several teams with Kentucky, Florida, uh, Arkansas, Tennessee, uh, Missouri. I mean, the, a good showing from the SEC, uh, which is kind of the region where I'm in. Uh, but not too many surprises for the most part here. Uh, Seton Hall, Villanova, North Carolina State, Temple. Uh, maybe those are some surprises. Davidson. Uh, I don't know what conference Davidson's in, but um, they're, they're doing a good showing too. Now on the RPI rankings, um, we're, you know, Belmont's still the best team in our conference. I think they're somewhere around the 50, 50s, if I'm not mistaken, the last time I looked. Uh, no, 55, yep, yeah, so I was right. And then we're a little bit further down the line, 73. What that really means, I think, is on this bubble watch, which starts around, it says, comes uh, available February 1st. So if you look who's in right now, Outside of the rankings, they've got Belmont making it, of course, because they're gonna they're leading in the conference. So as long as they don't lose the tournament, the conference tournament they're in. On the bubble, we're pretty far down there at 17th. So I think we'd have to win our conference tournament to make it. That's about the only chance. Even though we're gonna have, if this keeps up, you know, we're potentially gonna have a good record. It's not gonna really matter with that conference that we're in, and that's kind of disappointing. Uh, I think, you know, I think it's more competitive than it gets credit for, but it's just that's just the way this prestige thing is going right now. So I, I'm going to have to just grin and bear it. Uh, if we don't win our conference tournament, we're done, I think, for the, for the Final Four tournament. But that's, uh, that's a look at that. I may visit that again, of course, at the uh, end of the season in that last episode. But what I want to do today, uh, I just want to go, go ahead and play this game out now. I've kind of looked at the forums and did a few other things myself, some of the things I've been talking about throughout this series, trying to get a handle on how I can improve play and, and make a, you know, make a, well, give us a better chance of winning game to game. And uh, one of the few things I've noticed, you know, if turnovers are high, you can slow the offensive pace down. I've been trying to do that a little bit and had some success with it. So it does pay to, uh, to control a lot of these settings over here. Uh, it's just, you know, I guess it's just kind of by feel and, and, and intuition as the games are going on. I, I haven't seen a huge impact, but I think it has to make some kind of a difference. Um, and and I'll try and pay attention to that today, even though I'm still going with a pretty fast pace because I want to get, uh, get through this episode pretty quickly with this game. But if uh, if I start seeing some things like that, we, we have a lot of turnovers early or a lot of fouls, I might start adjusting how we're playing. But for now, I'm going to start out leaving it default, uh, going with a balanced offensive set here and balanced defense, letting them auto switch around, see how that plays out for a while. And a good thing that we are at home, that may give us a little bit more of an advantage. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, they score first, though, so it's 2 nothing. I don't think they're going to be an easy, easy win here. And first foul from Ben Martin, shooting foul, so he's going to the line. Makes the first one, makes the second one. I am going to try to crash the boards offensively a little bit. We're we're struggling with rebounds in general against these matchups. There was another case of it there, but I really want us to uh, try to win that battle here. And they're playing pretty good inside. It's six to four turnover there looks like but uh, they weren't able to convert another foul the second at the, the third so Ben Martin is called for a foul is that Ben Martin on do they have a Ben Martin and we have a Ben Martin hmm I guess so we're uh, cold early a lot of fouls. That's the fourth team foul for Southeast Missouri. Anderson to the line, and he makes them both to tie it up. Uh, but we're uh, three for six in field goals for them, just one for four for our, us, but there's another foul, a charge. So they're up to five fouls already. Uh, we're still struggling 
What's going on with their shooting? One for five. There's a nice slam dunk to give us the first lead, I think, in the game. Out of bounds to Southeast Missouri State. Two-point game, they tie it up. Oh, a big three-pointer. If we could get hot from the outside, that might help us. And now that's our first foul of the game, but it's going to be a shooting foul. He misses the first three throw, makes the second. Two-point game. Anderson with a nice basket there. Oh, we got the rebound. Ah, another foul. The sixth foul. We're 13 minutes left in the half. Another foul. We're going to the line. Nice play there. It's 15 to 9. He threw it away. Oh, he couldn't make it. So, how are we looking? Total rebounds 5 to 5. Uh, we're, we're winning the defensive battle, though, overall a little bit. Phil goes a little bit better than they were. Uh, another foul. Mike Holland, he was in there for Anderson. Man. We keep kicking the ball. And another foul. It's going to be a shooting foul. So he's going to the line. He hits them both. Four-point game. And they're they're eating away at the lead. It's a two-point game. Oh, a big three-point basket there. Ah, good rebound, though. But uh, we throw it away. Uh, Three-point game again. I don't know if we need to be going for those three-pointers. Two for seven for the game. Uh, we hit another one. And they are owning us inside. We have a nice play there by Edwards. Okay, well now we're up to six. Got a little hot run going there. 500 on shooting percentage. But we miss a three. They get it back. Still just a four-point game. Eight minutes left in the half. Defensive foul again. Now we're up to four. So they've kind of really eat into that too. So they haven't had a foul in a, a lot of time. There's foul, no rushing call for a charge. It looks like they throw it away. We're up by seven. That's our biggest lead of the game. But we're still, we just can't pull away from them. It's a four point lead. Anderson, nice shot inside. Oh, eight-point lead, biggest lead of the game. And a foul on Grower. So, uh, ah, six-point game. Misses a three. We're three for ten and three-pointers. And Ben Martin turnover on the other end. And a foul that's going to t put us to the line. Their seventh team foul. This is Jepson. He hits the first one. He's not a good free throw th shooter, but he hits them both. We're up by eight. Ah, and a foul, and he makes the basket. And now we're back by six. I'm going to slow the offensive pace down a little bit for the rest of the half. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. And is that another foul? It looks like it is. He's going to the line. He misses the first one. Makes the second one four-point game, and we turn it over. And now it's a two-point game. Uh, we can't get anything done. We missed the shot. They could tie it up or take the lead, and and they've tied it. It's 33-33. He misses the free throw, luckily, and a foul, but Jepson misses the shot, misses the free throw, makes the second a one-point game. Another miss. I think I'm going to have to go outside, even though our three-point shooting has been terrible. Um, we're having a real big struggle here. So they could take the lead. Well, it's they're up by two. And we tie it. I'd like to have the lead in half. And we're up by two. And a foul. Why would you foul in that situation? So they, they're going to be tie in the game Pro oh, thankfully we we scored that last basket i'm gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how the stats look at halftime we're just up by two uh marty anderson even though i feel like they're winning the inside battle it looks like we are scoring eight you know we're outscoring them in the paint uh 
fast break, just four to two, but they are having some second chance points on us. Uh, individual players outside of Anderson, nothing on that uh, starting lineup is looking too good, but Edwards off the bench and Marshak off the bench have looked pretty good this game. Shooting, we're just 15 for 33. They're not doing much better, but we're struggling with the uh, three-point shots. Gosh, I don't know if I should just stay with this. Uh, I mean, Anderson has been pretty much my best player. I don't know if I should stay with kind of a balanced look or, or not. And we've started out pretty sloppy. And they take the lead on a three-point shot. And Anderson called for a foul, his third. Nice play there to take the lead. I think I'm going to go outside. I just don't look favor outside right now. Turnover from them. Just a one-point lead. Uh, we are struggling. Hit 421 shooting percentage. A lot of back and forth in this game. They're up by one. So rushing draws the foul, but again, not a good free throw shooter. We're just, uh, well, we're 8 for 10 in free throws. Is that right? That's not too bad. Tie game. They miss. We get the rebound, but we can't convert. And that was, we, we're kind of susceptible to that move. Big three-pointer there to give us a one-point lead. And Reed called for his third foul. Their second team foul of the half, and we throw it away. We just cannot get distance on this team. Up by three now, and they have a big turnover. If we could, well, we can't convert. Pass deflected out of bounds. We need to start getting some distance on them somehow. One point game again. Oh, good move there by Holland and. They turn it over. We need to convert here. And a foul. Their third team foul. And a big three-pointer. Ooh, but they come back right away. I think he missed it, actually. A one-point game, but we're going to the line. This is Cunningham. He makes the first one. Misses the second one. But we get the rebound and another foul. And that's Alexander Red, the fourth foul for him. A two-point game. And another foul, shooting foul. There's six team foul, and this is going to be Anderson to the line. He hasn't made – that's his first points for the second half. He misses the second free throw, but we get it back on the other end. I've still got the offense uh, slowed down a little bit, uh, the pace. And we're up by five, up by six, rushing at the line. He hits them both. Good job there. So shooting, we're just a little bit better the second half, it seems like, so far. And they throw the ball away, so up by seven. Oh, big basket there from Grower, and he draws the foul and converts. Ten-point lead, our biggest lead of the game, ten and a half minutes left. And a travel, turned it over. Oh, big move down there on uh, rushing with a slam dunk. They're, they called a timeout. I'm going to... I'm going to give them some praise here. Um, they don't respond. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But if they respond a little bit, uh, maybe it's a good thing. Another foul on them, and they're up to 19 fouls. We've been really, uh, I don't know if it's lucky or we've just been playing a lot better defense in the second half. 15 for 19 now in free throws. Uh, one of our better performances in several games in that category, but we get a foul on the other end on Ben Martin, his third. And they can't convert. We get a rebound, another foul. Jepson uh, going to the line. I know he's not the greatest free throw shooter, but he hits the first one, misses the second one. We're up by 13 now, and it's going to be another foul on them. That's their 10th team foul. And Grower at the line, he hits them both. 15-point lead, their biggest lead of the game. They come right back with a basket inside. Kicked by the defense. Oh, we missed it there. 11-point game, they got plenty of time. 
And Anderson makes the layup and draws the foul. He's having a pretty decent game, i got to say. He makes that free throw. That's 10 point, 12 points for him now. They missed the three-pointer, but get the rebound, and we get it back. Can't convert. Grower's struggling at the – Phil goes three for eight. Not too good. They still got possession and a foul. That's going to take him – put him to the line. And they missed the second one, and it's going to be another foul on the other end. Wow. And uh, – Edwards misses the first one and makes the second one. We've been to the line 26 times. A turnover on their end. And another foul. Oh, my gosh. 14-point game. This is Edwards. He's up to 12 points. Uh, great performance from him off the bench. And Lawrence misses the shot, draws the foul. And he converts, makes them both. I'm going to start slowing the offense down pretty soon. I mean, we're at four and a half minutes, 14-point game. I'd like to go into a stall offense down the stretch. Let's try to do that now. And a big shot, a big basket there. 16-point game. Uh, out of bounds, but the Southeast Missouri. And a shot clock violation. That that could all but do it. 76 to 60. Ooh. Grower throws it away. They're going to have to start hitting some threes, I think, to, to get back in this game. And it's another foul, and that's going to put Jeffs into the line. He's probably the guy they want up there, but he hits, hits them both. 18-point game. That's probably our biggest lead. And Richard Jepson throws it away, but... I think we've got control of this one right now. 78-62. They can't really afford to foul. Out of bounds, but back to us. I think two seconds to throw on the shot clock. And he gets it up there in time, but uh, doesn't fall. And Donald Bullock throws it away. I don't know why they're fouling at this point, but that's going to put Anderson back to the line. He makes the first one. Makes the second one. 18 point lead now. Jepson, why would you foul? I don't understand that. I guess I could turn down that defensive uh, pressure. And a big three pointer at the uh, buzzer from rushing. Uh, gives him 12 points for the game. What a game. 83 62. And really, what a second half. Um, that's, this game was close until that big run. What, what was it, maybe five minutes or so into the second half or even l later than that? We really took control of this game. That's kind of what I like to see. 83-62, um, big win, and that puts us in a pretty comfortable spot in the standings now. Uh, but let's take a look at how this game went stats-wise on their side. Uh, they struggle with shooting. I think they had a better second half as well. But man, two for fifteen in three point shooting, that's not gonna that's not gonna help you out. Uh, they also have a Ben Martin on their team. He had eleven points, almost their leading score. On our side, um, good balance scoring here, especially uh, I do like this Edwards off the bench with twelve points. He got fifteen minutes of play. Um, which is pretty good as well. I think he must be playing both shot shooting uh guard and uh, point guard if, if that's if I'm reading that right but rushing with 12 uh, Anderson with 14 led us in scoring he was the player of the game not a lot of rebounds but uh, three blocks which is unusual for him that's a pretty high number for, for him <clears throat> Jepson gave us some good defense in this game five rebounds three assists two blocks um, Grower five assists I'm seeing him about to that average, which I, I think is good for a point guard. I can live with that. Five assists, ten points, uh, just two turnovers, not too bad for him either. And then Martin, our leading scorer, still 11 points. Uh, he gives you a lot of things all the way around. Nine rebounds, uh, two assists, a steal, two blocks, uh, a good player overall. 
And then Edwards, how did he do this? Three for four from the field with one three-pointer, 12 points. Just a good game off the bench. Same with Marshak. And those guys, Marshak I know is going to be here again next year. I'm not sure about Edwards. I can't remember. Uh, but I'm really happy with the individual performances there. Uh, shooting, we look way better in the second half. Five for 14 and three-pointers. And 81% from the free throw line, I'll take that. I mean, the way we've been playing game to game, I really take that. Plus, we out-rebounded them. Uh, offensive rebounds were even. We got more steals. We had more blocks. Uh, I'm seeing that a lot with some of these games. I didn't think we were that big of a team in terms of size, but I'm seeing a lot of blocks from different players on the team, not just the center. Uh, 12 turnovers to their 16, so we won that r- battle, too. Great game. Uh, another thing here, lead changes 16, tied eight times. This was a closer game than it looked. Uh, although they never led more than two, uh, they were in this game through through much of it. Uh, so this was a big win for us. I'm going to take a look at how the rest of the – oh, and I, I see something positive already, something positive and negative. But – Looking back at the scores from the rest of the conference, so there's our game. Belmont, finally a loss, 78-75 on the road against Eastern Illinois. Eastern Kentucky finally won against Tennessee Tech. Moorhead State lost to Tennessee Martin. Uh, Murray State lost to Tennessee State. That is a huge one right there. So Belmont, that'll put them at... 10 and 11 and 1 in conference. Uh, so we both of us are really uh, putting some distance at it between us and, and the rest of the conference. But big win for us to give us that three point, three game advantage over uh, the third place teams. But Belmont, I would love it if we could both go into that final game with two losses and we win at home. That would be so sweet. Uh, but one other thing that came up, it popped up there at the top corner. I don't know if you got a chance to see it, but we've got an injury to deal with. Uh, and it's our backup center, Mike Holland. Sore hip, he's at 90% for seven days. And we're at the in the meat of the schedule right now. There's not going to be any breaks or anything coming up. So I'm, I'm going to go and look at who our next opponent is just by simming out some games here. And we're also, this is also going to update the um, the ratings and rankings for the, for the week. So I'll take a quick look at those two. Yeah, so let me look at the inbox, see if we've got any... Uh, Messages to look at, some scouting reports, Eastern Illinois. We're pretty heavy favorites based on our scouting from that one. And then SIU Edwardsville. Uh, I'm not seeing the... That's that's different. I'm not seeing the full report there. Oh, there it is. Uh, barely... We have 53-47, and uh, pretty evenly matched up against them. Now, what's this? The Norton semifinalist announced. Nobody from us. <laughs> That's kind of expect that. But let's take a look at the uh, polls now, how they stand after this week. So we got Louisville still in first, Florida second, Kansas third. Looks like they jumped up over Iowa. Um Gonzaga moving up there. They're fifth and fourth. Down at the bottom, I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, movement. Uh, Pittsburgh is ranked and Oregon ranked. They they move in there for the first, well, at least uh, they, they're new this week. Maryland took a little bit of a drop. Oklahoma State, they must have lost a game. Uh, biggest Biggest movement may have been Gonzaga. And Wisconsin, they just jumped up a couple. And then on the bubble watch, so uh, uh, Belmont is, is still in because they're leading. And then we are 18th. So we've even dropped 
on that bubble watch. That's kind of unfair. But who do we play next? St. Mary's, I've noticed, they're 13 and 12. We beat them early in the season. They're, they've been pretty competitive. Okay, so we got a, a, a good ch uh, challenge here against Tennessee State on the road. Uh, Belmont, they've got a big challenge, too, against Southeast Missouri State on the road. Um, <clears throat> so you know what I'm hoping here. I'm hoping upset there, and, and we play as well as we've been playing in, in these last stretch of games. So next episode is going to be the end of the season. Uh, so we got Tennessee State at home, uh, on the road, Eastern Kentucky, SIU Edwardsville, Eastern, Eastern Illinois on the road against Moorhead State. That could be a tough one, too. Uh, these road games are going to be tough, these two, Tennessee State and Moorhead State. And then Belmont Bruins, that'll be the last game <clears throat> of the season, and, and that'll be how I finish uh, a regular season in this playthrough. Hopefully Holland comes back pretty quick. So... He's uh, four days now, so let's let's hope I can kind of squeak through with him not getting injured further. Knock on wood, so far I haven't seen too many big injuries on this team. That's a, that's a plus for sure uh, with the roster that we have. So two wins away from twenty, that would be a nice uh, a nice goal to meet too. Uh, everything's looking good. I'm really uh. I guess I've been pretty uh, pleased, of course, with their record, but I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by it. I figured we would be somewhere in that middle mix and, you know, and having to claw our way up to that top three spot in the conference. But, you know, so far, knock on wood, so, so far, so good. But I'm really appreciating you guys, uh, your comments, your feedback, your likes, and, and the views I'm getting on this one. I'm kind of getting uh, a little bit more views on some of these episodes than I thought. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of a basketball fix for a while um, with everything that's going on in the world. And uh, I'm going to keep playing it until at least I'm through this full season. I got out of the park baseball coming up. I've already got the game. I've been looking at it, uh, trying to figure out kind of a roadmap for what I want to do with that game on my channel. Uh, if, if you haven't checked that one out, you know, you know, maybe give it a couple minutes anyway to check it out and see what it's about. If you like this game, you like sports management, I think you'll like it as well. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next episode.